We're going to look at example three from your textbook in section 9.1 and find out how to make a scatter plot as well as how to have Excel calculate for you the correlation coefficient. So this data set in example three is the durations in minutes of the eruptions of the geyser Old Faithful, which is in Yellowstone Park, never been there, and the time in minutes until the next eruption. So it spews water into the air and it goes silent for a while, then it does it again. So we have both the duration and the time in between each of those eruptions. So I've typed all of the data in. Now, again, this is paired data. So when you type in paired data, you want to make sure that you're using columns that are side by side, putting one variable in one column and the corresponding variable in the next column. And we're going to see if there's some kind of relationship between how long the initial eruption lasts and how quickly the next one happens. I'm going to highlight my data set. I'm going to go to insert and from the chart menu down towards the bottom you have scatter plots. When I click on this arrow you're going to choose the very first scatter plot and it's done. I'm gonna pause the video while I put some appropriate labels on here. All of this is done when you're in the chart design menu from the add chart element button. All right, I have given my scatter plot a title, put label on my axes, including units. And as you can see, this data does seem to have some correlation to it. It does appear that as X increases, the length of the initial eruption increases, the time until the next eruption also increases. So you've got to wait longer for the next one to happen. We know this data is going to have a positive correlation and positive correlations will be a number somewhere between zero and one with one being the strongest possible. So the correlation coefficient, we can have Excel calculate it. Just go to any cell. I'm going to put a little R here, and then next to it, I'm going to put equals, and I'm going to start typing correlation. And what comes up is this coral. Go ahead and click on that. And as it says, you're supposed to give it array one, comma, array two. So you're supposed to highlight, first of all, the data points that are your X values, comma, highlight the data points that are your y values. My correlation coefficient in this case is 0.978. That's a very strong correlation because it's very close to one. Now in the next section, we'll see why that correlation coefficient is important.